Welcome to the North Phoenix Suburban Stead channel. In this video, we're performing maintenance on our three burner natural gas grill. Before we begin, let's chat about some of the repairs that I performed in May of 2019. The grill is over 20 years old. We were constantly managing everything when we were grilling, and it was all because of uneven burning across the three burners. My first thought was just to replace the entire grill. In other words, buy a new one. After all my research, I found anywhere from $1,000 to $8,000 to replace it. Seriously, $8,000. That's when I got motivated. I found my original Barbecues Galore Turbo Instruction Manual, and I began researching and learning about what I can do to improve it. There was a section inside the instruction manual that talked about an even spread of heat across the cast iron burners. That's when I got motivated to start begin the research to just replace the burners. I didn't film my inspection and the replacement back in May of 2019, so I grabbed these pictures from the internet to illustrate the problem. Mine were even worse. So now I decided that I was going to replace the cast iron burners, and I did a lot of research. Through Amazon, I found three burners and a couple other pieces that I needed, less than $75. Hmm, $1,000 to $8,000 for a new one, or less than $75 to fix the problem. So here's the, actually the, one of the new burners, a year later, still looks brand new. So let's begin the maintenance. The objective here is to clean everything we can and perform a visual inspection, making sure the components are operating correctly. If we find a problem, then we'll look to repair that. We'll begin the maintenance by dismantling all of the components from the top down. Here, we're beginning by removing the hood. Now remove all of the cooking grills. Then we'll remove the heat plates that hold the briquettes one over each burner. Now we're at the burners, and this is really important where we want to inspect everything. So this is what the main piece that we replaced a year ago. You want to make sure that the burners are seated correctly. There's no obstructions and there's no rust. All right, so everything looked really good there. Now we'll remove the burners. There's still one component left here on the bottom and that's the drip tray. But before we remove that, we're gonna clean this. I'm basically just taking a scraper here and all of the loose things and the schmegma and just wiping them off and letting them drop into that drip tray. Now we'll remove that drip tray. We wanna be really careful here. We've got probably about a maybe three eighths to even a half inch of sand in some locations. Discard all of that and begin replacing some of the tin foil. Now we're ready to start reassembling. Here I'm pouring in new sand. I use play sand that you would get for a sandbox, pick up a bag at the local hardware store. Now I'm just going to take my time to perform a little bit more of a detailed inspection of each one of the burners, put them all back together, and then put it back inside the grill. You want to take your time with reassembling the burners. You want to make sure that they're seated correctly. Then I'll put the heat plates and the briquettes back on top, then the cooking grills, and we'll move back to installing the hood.
give it a quick wipe down. We'll also remove some extra grease that I put on the hood hinges. We're good to go. So now we'll fire it back up and then inspect all the burners from several angles. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Look for more videos from the North Phoenix Suburbanstead.